Have you ever pondered the impact of a single creature on an entire ecosystem? Let's divert our attention to the beautiful landscapes of Colorado where the gray wolf once roamed freely. In the early part of the 20th century, these majestic creatures were a common sight, their howls echoing through the valleys and mountains. However, by the 1940s, their numbers had dwindled to nothing, their presence eradicated due to extermination efforts. Why, you might ask? As settlers moved westward, they brought with them livestock, and with livestock came conflict. The gray wolves were viewed as threats, their predatory nature clashing with the needs of the settlers. The solution, as it was deemed then, was to remove the wolves from the equation entirely. Fast forward to the recent past, where the absence of the gray wolf has been keenly felt. The balance of the ecosystem had been disrupted. Elk populations soared, leading to overgrazing and a decline in biodiversity. The rivers changed their course, the vegetation patterns altered, the landscape cried out for its lost sentinel. Recognizing the role of the gray wolf as a keystone species, a decision was made. A decision to right the wrongs of the past, to restore balance, to bring back the wolves. It wasn't an easy decision, mind you. It involved countless hours of debate, countless studies weighing the pros and cons, and a statewide vote in 2020. The reintroduction of the gray wolf was not just about the animal itself. It was about acknowledging the intricate web of life, where every creature has a role to play, where the absence of one can ripple through the entire system. It was about learning to coexist, about recognizing that we share this planet with countless other species. The decision was made, the wheels set in motion. The gray wolf, once hunted to extinction, was given a second chance. A chance to reclaim its rightful place in the Colorado wilderness. A chance to restore balance to an ecosystem teetering on the edge. And so the stage was set for the return of the gray wolf to Colorado. But bringing back a species that was once eradicated is no easy task. The reintroduction of the gray wolf to Colorado was a process steeped in meticulous planning, careful execution, and an unwavering commitment to restoring balance in our ecosystem. The journey began with locating and capturing the wolves. This was a task entrusted to seasoned professionals who tracked wolf packs in areas where their populations were stable. Each gray wolf was carefully sedated and then examined to ensure they were healthy and fit for the journey ahead. This was a delicate operation as ensuring the safety and well-being of these magnificent creatures was paramount. The next stage was the transportation. The wolves were moved in specially designed crates providing both comfort and safety. Transporting a wild animal over such long distances is a challenge, but the teams were well prepared. They monitored the wolves throughout the journey, ensuring they remained calm and stress-free. Upon arrival in Colorado, the wolves were not simply set free. They were initially released into large enclosed areas akin to their natural habitat. This was to allow them to acclimate to their new environment, to familiarize themselves with the sights, sounds, and scents of what was to become their new home. The people involved in this process were not just wildlife experts, they were individuals with a deep-seated respect and love for these animals. Their efforts were driven by the knowledge that they were not just reintroducing a species. They were restoring an integral part of our ecosystem, a part that had been missing for far too long. The reintroduction of the gray wolf was not a decision taken lightly. It was a calculated, considered choice aimed at rectifying past mistakes and ensuring the future health of our environment. It was a testament to our ability to correct our course, to acknowledge our past errors and to make amends. With the wolves successfully reintroduced, the real work had only just begun. Every action in nature has consequences, some expected and others surprising. Now let's delve into the effects of reintroducing the gray wolf into the Colorado ecosystem. Firstly, let's consider the benefits. The gray wolf's return has brought balance to the ecosystem. 
Before the gray wolf's reintroduction, the population of elk and deer, the wolf's natural prey, had swelled to unsustainable numbers. This overpopulation led to overgrazing, which in turn led to soil erosion and the degradation of habitats for other species. With the gray wolf back in the picture, these prey populations are kept in check, allowing the vegetation to recover. As a result, the entire ecosystem, from insects to birds to other mammals, is thriving. Moreover, the presence of the gray wolf has also led to a phenomenon known as the trophic cascade. This means that the effects of the wolf's return have rippled throughout the ecosystem. For instance, the return of lush vegetation thanks to controlled grazing has attracted species that were previously absent, such as beavers. These industrious creatures build dams, creating wetlands that provide habitats for a myriad of other species. However, the reintroduction of the gray wolf is not without its challenges. Ranchers and farmers, for instance, have raised concerns about the safety of their livestock. The gray wolf, a carnivorous predator, can pose a threat to cattle and sheep. This conflict between maintaining ecological balance and protecting agricultural interests is a complex issue that requires careful management and ongoing dialogue. Furthermore, there are also concerns about the potential impact on hunting. With wolves controlling the population of game animals like elk and deer, some worry that there might be less opportunity for hunters. Balancing the needs of the ecosystem with recreational and economic interests is another aspect of the gray wolf's return that needs careful consideration. The return of the gray wolf is not without controversy, but its impact on the ecosystem is undeniable. The reintroduction of this apex predator has set off a chain of events restoring balance and breathing new life into Colorado's wilderness, reminding us that every creature has a role to play in the grand tapestry of nature. Change can be challenging, but it can also be a catalyst for growth. When the gray wolf was reintroduced to the rugged landscapes of Colorado, it was met with a medley of reactions from the local community. It's a story of apprehension and excitement, of conflict and harmony, a story that's still unfolding. On one hand, there's a palpable sense of excitement. Many see the return of the gray wolf as a long-awaited homecoming, a chance to restore an intricate part of the ecosystem that had been missing for far too long. There's a newfound sense of pride in the community, knowing that they're playing a key role in this historic conservation effort. And then there's the economic aspect. The reintroduction of these majestic creatures has brought an uptick in tourism. Visitors are flocking to Colorado, hoping to catch a glimpse of the gray wolf in its natural habitat. This boost in tourism is bringing economic benefits to local businesses from mom and pop diners to quaint bed and breakfasts. But it's not all rosy. There's a flip side to this coin, a side that's steeped in concern and apprehension. Local farmers in particular have voiced their worries. They fear that the wolves could pose a threat to their livestock, potentially impacting their livelihoods. It's a valid concern, one that's being addressed through various mitigation strategies like compensation programs for farmers who've lost livestock to wolves. And then there's the fear of the unknown. Change, especially on this scale, can be unnerving. There are those who worry about the potential impacts on the local wildlife on the balance of the ecosystem. It's a complex issue, one that doesn't have easy answers. But here's the thing about change. It's a process and it takes time. The community is learning, adapting, finding ways to coexist with the gray wolf. It's a journey of growth, of understanding, of mutual respect. Despite the mixed responses, the community is adapting to the return of the gray wolf. The return of the gray wolf to Colorado is a story still being written. As we stand on the brink of a new chapter in Colorado's wildlife narrative, the future of the gray wolf remains a topic of immense interest and hopeful anticipation. With the reintroduction of this majestic creature comes an array of expectations, hopes, and concerns that are as diverse as the Colorado landscape itself. Our hopes for the gray wolf are high. We envision a future where the wolf population thrives, growing steadily over time. We foresee a time when the howl of the gray wolf becomes a familiar sound echoing across Colorado's vast wilderness, a testament to the success of our conservation efforts. We dream of a day when our children's children will look upon the gray wolf not as a mere chapter in a history book, but as a living, breathing part of our state's rich, natural heritage. But with these hopes come concerns, and it is vital that we address them with equal attention.
Potential conflicts between the gray wolf and human communities are a reality we must prepare for. As the gray wolf reclaims its old territories, interactions with ranchers, farmers, and rural communities are inevitable. It's crucial that we continue to foster dialogue, understanding, and coexistence between the human and the wolf populations. In this delicate balance of nature and human activity, we must also consider the potential impact on other wildlife. The introduction of a top predator like the gray wolf can cause ripples throughout the ecosystem. It's our responsibility to monitor these changes and adapt our conservation strategies as necessary. The future of the gray wolf in Colorado is a complex tapestry of hope, challenge, and responsibility. It's a story that we are all a part of and one that we have the power to shape in a way that benefits both the wolves and our communities. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The gray wolf has once again become a part of Colorado's wild heart.